New York City women have really gained this reputation, this image of somebody walking around those Manhattan sidewalks in stylish heels, showing up at the nightclubs and dancing the night away. But what if walking and dancing or running isn't an option? What if instead you have to rely on a wheelchair to get around the streets of Manhattan? Well, that's the reality for one New Yorker who is just not letting her disability stand in her way. Danielle Shapik was recently crowned Miss Wheelchair New York, and now she has her eyes on the national title Miss Wheelchair USA. Danielle, it's so great to see you today. It's so good to be here. Tell me about winning the title Miss Wheelchair New York and what that means for you and, and your platform. It, I mean, it's just a, one, a great opportunity for me to really put my platform out there, which I've felt passionately about for a very long time. And that's that people in wheelchairs are dateable, sexy, and want to be in relationships. Um, and there's a lot of stigma associated with dating or relationships and sexuality if you have a, a physical disability. Why do you think that that stigma exists even when other um prejudices and stereotypes are breaking down in our society and culture you know what that's an excellent question and I refer to it as the last taboo it really is I mean um, people pe there's been a lot of improvement for people with physical disabilities in many different areas except dating relationships and sexuality it's like no one talks about it and that's I really it needs to be it's suddenly coming to the forefront there there's a, a new show on Sundance channel called push girls which is for beautiful sexy women yes. and then the reveal that they're all in wheelchairs they all use wheelchairs to get around do you are you a fan of the show I'm a big fan of the show and I I, I remember even the first episode it opens up um, one of the characters is introduced in bed with her boyfriend and I was thinking yes finally that this is a reality that people don't think is possible for us. And, and how do you go about personally trying to um, to change the stigma associated with dating, loving, being sexy if you are a person with a disability? I mean, I feel like it's a real grassroots effort. I feel like I um, it, I have to start at the very beginning, and that's just exposing people you know, exposing people through media and telling them and educating them um, that that people in wheelchairs can be sexy and dateable. Are you dating? Um, I am dating, single, but dating. Okay, that's good to know. I was just asking because I like to play matchmaker and occasionally I like meddling in other people's lives. So just in case you wanted a, a matchmaker involved, you let me know how it goes, won't you? I'm so open to that. You're getting ready here for the national pageant. What do yes. you do for, to prepare? Um, there's a whole host of activities that we're going to be doing there. We're going to be working with Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts and just doing some other um, events for the community there. And, uh, and you know the basics. I had to get my gown and um, things like that. So What color is it? Little hint? Um, it's, it's very New York. Oh, so she's, oh, it's a tease. So we'll have to be keeping I our eyes I have to represent the city that I love. So I love it. I love yeah. it. Danielle, thank you so much for coming in and for sharing a little bit about it. I wish you the best of luck in the national pageant. Thanks so much.